kind of what Coach Gabriel just told us too. Where does your defensive mindset come from in your basketball game? Uh, playing in grade school under a coach who was really hard on us playing defense. I remember there were some practices where we would just do defensive stances and defensive slides for basically the whole practice for about an hour. So uh, I'd say I, it's been hardwired in to me from from a young age. How did your um, high school quarterback, right? Yeah. How did that kind of shape your basketball game? Uh, just making me tough, you know, uh, whether it's going into the lane, getting hit by guys, or running into screens. So, And also just being a quarterback, being under pressure situations. Uh, it's like when I'm getting trapped on the court, just finding the open man. Johnny, uh, welcome to DC. Um, what do you attribute your huge improvement year over year at Wisconsin to? Uh, just my work ethic, you know, in the off season, making sure I'm staying in the gym and in the weight room, just trying to be the best player that I can be. What have these last few days been like? Uh, very exciting, but also kind of overwhelming. Uh, just trying to, you know, learn everything as quick as I can. In terms of um, just everything you've got going on, you know, living in a new city, all that stuff, uh, adjusting to a new job, how fast and furious have things kind of come at you? Um, they have been pretty fast, but at the same time, I'm just, you know, really happy to be here and, you know, looking forward to being able to play in the NBA. Was today your first five-on-five -five action in a while? Is that correct? Uh, well, I mean, we did some five-on-five -five stuff, like, earlier in minicamp, but, yes, this is probably my first action since the end of the season. Well, what's that been like for you? Uh, well, I was, I was happy to be able to, you know, play against some guys again instead of just, you know, working out individually, but, um, no, nah, it's it's definitely a different a different vibe and different pace than college. Johnny, you said you had family in the area, right? Yeah. Who's who's all around here? It's like extended family. Uh, yeah. So my cousin used to live here a while back. We'd come up here and visit her for Thanksgiving when we, when I was younger. Um, she moved to La Crosse, Wisconsin, where I'm from, but now she's gonna move back with me. So that's that's exciting. And I also have a lot of family down in the Norfolk Chesapeake area. Mm -hmm. So is this your first? kind of big thing you're doing in life where your twin brother hasn't been there? Yes, definitely. Um, you good. know, <laughs> we, we went to we went to Wisconsin together. I've lived with him for the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm somewhat <laughs> happy to not be living with him, but at the same time, it's gonna be a little weird. How often are you texting back and forth with him through everything? All the time. Uh, every, every day I've been away from him, I've either called him or he's called me just, you know, talking about stuff. I was still on the NBA court now, especially with the young guys your age. Uh, feels really great. You know, this is something I've been working up to my whole entire life. Uh, you know, for it to for it to finally be here, I'm not. I'm gonna take advantage of it and just you know work really hard. Johnny, how much do you expect to talk to Chris Dunn, a guy that has kind of like been in the league, been out of the league, trying to get back into the league? How much will you kind of pick his brain in the summer about how to kind of navigate the waters? Yeah, I'll definitely pick his brains a lot. I remember watching him play at Providence. You know, he's, he's a really good player, um, especially uh, his defensive mindset. You know, it's something I really admire. What do you think about the opportunity to play with Bradley Beal? Um, I feel like it's going to be really exciting to play alongside a guy who I've been watching play a lot. I think it's somebody I can try to resemble my game after. We saw that, you know, you were able to meet him, I think, on Friday. I guess just maybe what were some of the words of encouragement that he shared on to you as you, you know, start your NBA career? Uh, he, he didn't say too much. I think he was probably in a rush or had something else going on, but you know, it was nice for him to stop in and say what's up and, you know, welcome me to D.C. Looking hey, at me. Oh, hey, John, when, if you could take me back to your pre-draft workout, when did you get a sense of like, hey, maybe this could be a team that I, you know, I could play for? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Washington was actually my first workout, so I came in, you know, not knowing what to expect. But um, I thought I did pretty good in the workout, and my agents told me that this would be, you know, kind of a realistic landing spot. So I was looking forward to being here, and now that I'm here, I'm really happy. And then just with you being happy to be here, just what's a message to some of the Wizards fans? Um, you know, uh, once again, I'm happy to be here. I'm looking forward to, you know, playing with the team, and hopefully we can get to the playoffs this year. If any part of your game could be your signature at this point in your career, what would you want it to be so far? Defense. Uh, you know, you, uh, I mean, I, I, I have an offensive game too, but uh, on the defensive end, you, you can always control your, your effort and your intensity. You can, you can never control if the ball is going to go in the hoop. So uh, I think defensively, that's, that's where I hang my hat. 
how has your ability to create your own shot off the dribble developed over the years? Just being in the gym and working on it, uh, you know, and also having live defense too, because you know you can always work on the moves when nobody's there, but to get that true contest on the shot and to be able to hit it consistently, you got to have the pain in your face. Eastern Conference has a lot of good guards in it. Excuse me. The Eastern Conference has a lot of good guards in it. Do you ever, um, which of any of those players, sorry, just one, one. Um, <laughs> any of those players that you kind of take a moment to study as much as you can? Who do you, do you kind of study up on? Uh, I haven't studied too much. I mean, if I had to say, I'd say Jimmy Butler uh, and Jalen Brown. I remember I was training in Miami and I went to watch watch that game. So just seeing you know how those guys play, especially two ways, because they play defensively too. It was really good to watch and kind of try to take things from their game and implement them into mine. Tony, you're telling us you're overwhelmed, but you're just like straight. You're just knocking down questions after the rest. What does anything rattle you on the basketball court? Does anything make you mad? I know you're not like emo the most emotive guy on the court, but what gets under your skin? Um, just when somebody's probably scoring on me a lot or, or locking <laughs> me up uh, when I'm trying to, you know, score. That'd probably make me the most mad, but. Um, I was just taught at a young age, well, when I was younger, I showed a lot of emotion, probably too much. Okay. So uh, my, my dad especially has just taught me to, you know, keep those emotions in check and, you know, manage myself throughout the game. You were talking about how some of your, that football mentality carry, carries over to your basketball play. I'm just wondering, like, what kind of football player were you at quarterback? Like, what was your style, like, your mentality playing that game? Dual threat. Um, it, also, it also helped having a twin brother play wide receiver, so I always knew where he was going to be at on the field. Uh, he was also 6'6", six, six too, so it's nice to just be able to lo lob the ball up. But um, no, I had no problem running the ball. Uh, I had a lot of confidence in, in my legs. Uh, I didn't like the shots I took, and neither did you know my coach or my parents, but uh, that's just the type of player I was. I was going to do whatever it takes to win. At what stage did you decide that basketball was going to be the sport you ultimately concentrated on? I'd probably say senior year after my brother broke his collarbone. That was the second serious injury he suffered playing football. So, I mean, I always knew I was gonna play basketball, but after that, my parents for sure told us that football was definitely out of the question. Are you a Packers fan? No, I just I just went over this with uh, ABC. I'm, I'm actually a Giants fan, it's, it's a funny story. <laughs> so back when they won, and back when they won playing Tom Brady and the Patriots, I didn't really have a team because everybody around me liked the Packers, but I didn't, you know, I wanted to have a different team. So uh, my, my cousin and a few of my other family members were, were really big Giants fans, so I hopped on the bandwagon. Good, people like the Giants here, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good. good. <laughs> hey, Johnny, you're going into Summer League coming up here at the end of the week. Um, what does success look like for you coming out of Summer League? What do you hope to accomplish in Summer League? Uh, win every game we play and just also uh, you know, learn a few things in the process and just try to, you know, develop my game. I guess, Johnny, did you know one that Wizards draft pick last year, Corey Kispert, is also a twin? And if so, have you got to talk to him about that at all? <laughs> no, no, I did not know that. It's actually pretty shocking. But um, I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about. Have you been able to, besides Brad and other guys in the mini camp, have you been able to talk with any of the other guys on the Wizards roster? A few of them texted me. Uh, I think Rui, Denny, Bradley Beal, uh, Kuzma, and Corey were the guys that texted me. Uh, I talked to uh, Isaiah Todd, Vernon Perry, and a bunch of other guys in the mini camp. So it's really good to be able to hear from those guys and know that they're on my side. How would you explain your approach to rebounding? Eight rebounds gains quite a few for a guard. Uh, definitely a lot of instincts, just knowing where the ball is being shot from and you know where it's going to bounce or the depth of the shot. But um, also I give a lot of credit to my teammates because they did a lot more boxing out than I did, so I would have an open lane to just run and go get the ball. Hey, Johnny, Coach, I mean, Tommy, with the press with your intangibles, one of the things that stood out, they said, if you have a chip, where did that chip come from? And then how do you expect to view that just getting into the league? Yeah, that chip comes from when I was younger, my brother was a lot better than me. Like, I mean, a lot better. Uh, so just working to be better than him, but I also just, you know, Kept, kept that going and just working to try to be the best player that I can be. Uh, and I always try to compare myself to other players that are in the same league as me, which now is the NBA. So I'll be comparing myself to a lot of really good basketball players and I'm just gonna work until I'm in that same conversation. When did you start beating Jordan? Um, probably, 
probably my sophomore year in high school because he dislocated his ankle freshman year. That was the other injury, so that kind of, that kind of set him, that kind of set him back a little bit. But um, I mean, I still think either way, I was I was going to be a little bit better than him. I hope he's hearing that. <laughs> did, did he take it well when he when you started? Uh, yeah, yeah, he handled it fine. We it actually it actually worked out better because you know I was always making sure that he got the looks he needed to, uh, vice versa. So. Um, when that happened, he, he knew that he was going to have to rely on me a lot more, and I was there for him. Johnny, you don't have the ability to pick your team, but you've been here a couple of days, and you've been watching them on TV whenever you got a chance. What is it about the Wizards that you like? Uh, just that, you know, I, know, I get to have some veterans in Theo, but um, just, you know, the, the young core that they're trying to, you know, build up. Uh, I know Coach Unso hasn't been here too long, but I like how – they really emphasize defense, you know, especially in mini camp. They're really, they're really hard on us about that. So, um, I think I'll fit right in. And what we saw at the very end, you had the one alley you pass to your teammate. I guess just how has your vision as a ball handler improved, you know, throughout college to now? Yeah, I think that's something that people didn't think I could do in college. Uh, and playing on the team I played on, my mentality and my focus was to score the basketball. But now that I'm playing with guys who have the talent and skill to be able to uh you know find open spots and knock down shots i'll i'll have a lot more confidence in finding them what are some of the favorite stories you hear about your dad's uh, playing career uh, my favorite one is probably he showed us a video I, I don't know if i could find the clip i'm pretty sure it's in spanish but he put up 60 points in spain uh, and just watched him play uh, I think I kind of play like him a little bit. You know, we're the same size, same build. So it's it's exciting to be able to see him play like that. But also, uh, I want to have a game like that so I can, you know, brag about it to him. You talked about visiting D.C. during Thanksgiving. Like, what's your greatest memory from all the times you, you would visit this area? Um, probably going to the White House and, you know, the MLK monuments, just learning about the history uh, of the Capitol. But... Overall, I'm just you know really happy to be back here. Uh, the food here is really great too, especially the seafood. I, I really like it. Got a particular dish? <laughs> Nothing in particular. I'm not, I'm not too much of a picky guy. Okay. On that same line, what's your favorite Taco Bell item? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say the chalupa since I had to eat it about 20 times <laughs> in, the, in the commercial shoot. Aren't uh, brats big time in, in this conference? Yes, uh, very, very big. Uh, Brought some beer. I don't drink beer. I'm not old enough, but that's that's something that's you know a really big thing in Wisconsin. Also, cheese curds. If you haven't tried them, you need to. Thank you for clarifying. You're not old. <laughs> Is there something in DC that you really want to see that you haven't been able to yet? Um, probably the the National Museum. I don't think I saw that when I was here. So I'll definitely take the time when I get up here after summer league uh, and I'm looking for a place to stay to stop by and tour that a little bit.